Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. Really quick, it's uh, my lunch hour. Got a package in the mail. I uh, want to show you guys that <clears throat> and a couple other comic books uh, I got as well from a couple weeks ago and whatnot. Uh, first up, <coughs> sorry about that. I want to tell you guys there's only about a week and a couple of days left in the comic book lottery. Thanks everybody for your entries. We're up to $75 right now. That's totally awesome, you guys. Thanks for everybody who entered and anybody who didn't enter. Oh, well, too bad, so sad, you don't get it, haha. Ha. There you go, that's all I got to say to that. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> also, up here, this is still wrapped in the plastic. This is a, uh, the motion comic that my mother found in a, like, a, uh, in a bargain store. And it was really cheap, but I already have a copy, so it's all still in plastic, and I might end up giving this away in, like, my thousandth, uh, thousandth bleh, subscriber, um, contest, whenever that happens. I think I'm... Um, over 800, so I think I might save this, plus a bunch of other stuff for, for when I reach a thousand subscribers. Okay, so, <clears throat> that. Uh, first up here, this was Age of Apocalypse number one. I finally got this in a few weeks ago. This was a winning, winnings from uh, Stadium Comics contest that I won uh, months and months ago. And I was finally able to, uh, they, they finally sent it off. Uh, but I already have this one that I got in one of those, um, those Gary packs from uh, Bill's books. Um, so I'll probably end up giving this away at some point too. Okay, getting into a couple comic books that my wife picked up just uh, on the weekend for me because I was working. I wasn't able to get the city. So while she was there, she happened to pick up a couple books for me. Comedian issue number three. All I gotta say is eh, not the best. Didn't really like it. Read through it fast. Eh, it's gonna be forgettable. Okay, here's one that's, uh, I, I'm liking the series overall, I'm enjoying it, it's kind of neat, um, I'm not getting a massive amount of tie-ins or, or, uh, you know, a massive amount of books right now, so, <clears throat> this is the one, uh, event book that I'm reading, and, you know, I find it alright, it's, it's been pretty good, I, I, I find nothing to really overly complain about, um, <clears throat> I'm on the Avengers side, basically, and whichever side Wolverine's on, um, it's kind of cool, but uh, yeah, a big thing happens in this one, and things that we sort of expected, but um, it still, you know, comes off pretty good, I think. Some people didn't like exactly how it played out, but overall, I think it's been an okay event, and how, you know, the finale goes, um, that's really going to make or break this series, I think. Okay, here we go. Meh. Um, Spider-Man, Alpha, yeah, eventually you might think this guy might be, become a bad guy, sort of, because just the way things are going, um, you know it's going to end up being Spider-Man versus Alpha, um, and it's a villain, a villain that was created by, uh, accidentally by Peter, um, in almost the same sense that he was, um, created as a superhero, uh, but you know this is going to be the the opposite, basically, the antithesis of, uh, of Spider-Man. <clears throat> okay, a couple, or, I'm sorry, pardon me, this one also was, this, this one I got in the mail from CBA, uh, comic book edition in Canada, and the next two I did as well. Um, here we go, Before Watchmen, Silk Spectre, issue number three. I think the best read out of the Before Watchmen series so far Really awesome, love everything, it seems so original, and it's connected, but also very different from the um, original graphic novel, so pretty cool. Best read in the series, I think, so far. And one that I haven't read, because uh, i got some other uh, back issues, actually, in the next pile I'll show you. Um, so this is part two of the Monsters of Evil, um, so i got a few Venom comics I'm, I'm gonna, i got to catch up on. Okay, the next ones, I got some new ones, some old ones, um, from mycomicshop.com, otherwise known as Lone Star Comics in, um, Texas. So, let's get to them, and, uh, maybe I'll tell you a little bit, a few things about them. Okay, first one up here, Commandy, issue number 20. I thought, I thought I was already up to issue number 20, but I guess it wasn't, I was 1 through 19, so, um, every once in a while I'm going to be picking up Commandies and hopefully, uh, finish off, finish off the, uh, series whenever I can. Super awesome series. Um, I think I've only read up to issue number 12 so far, but uh, it's amazing. Just like anybody else who shows Commandies, I really highly recommend them. They're one of the best things um, 
that I've ever read. It's really, really good. Okay, here's an old uh, image comic. The Max is number two. I got the Max number one quite a while ago, um, and I did like it. It was pretty good. There's a cover for Max 3. Um, and it's kind of confusing <clears throat> how they do this, the covers on the back. Because after I bought it, and then I was thinking, oh, wait a minute, my gosh, didn't I already have this one? Because I remember the image. I'm like, oh, no, maybe I just bought another double. But quite a while ago, I only bought issue number one, and they had this image, you know, full size, on the back. So that ended up confusing me, <laughs> because I didn't remember the, the number one cover. I remembered the uh, back cover, which was a preview to issue number two, which was this one. So Max, Max I found, was all right, um, so I'm going to continue reading that. Uh, we'll see how long, perhaps get the whole series, because um, I don't think it really ran for that long in the 20s or something like that. There's a uh, number three. Some good art. Sam Key's stuff, really awesome. Loved uh, a lot of the stuff that he's done on uh, Marvel Comics Presents, the Wolverine stuff. That was great art, too, so pretty cool. Here's one that's a little more beat up on the back. So you can see they're a little torn up, but yeah. That's not too bad. I can live with it. And that's uh, Pit number four. Uh, I got issues uh, zero to three. Found it pretty good. It's a uh, Dale Keown um, creation and uh, art by Dale Keown, uh, one of Canadians, Canada's uh, finest, I guess. And uh, so, and I found it pretty good too. And I wanted to keep reading. Really great '90s kind of stuff. That's awesome. So, and, and basically, if at the time, if you're reading the Max, you're reading the Pit. If you're reading the Pit, you're reading the Max. And uh, I do believe there was, at one time, uh, a crossover between them two, I think. So, can't have one without the other. Oh, yeah, I picked this one up for some, like, nostalgic, uh, you know, <laughs> reasons. <clears throat> and uh, I do love the character. This is Venom, issue number one of... Uh, what's the storyline called? I don't know, it just says Venom 1. But part 1 of 6, oh, I'm sorry, right there. Lethal Protector. But you can see it's all kind of shiny and also has some webs in the back. And I love these, these uh, you know, gimmicky 90s covers. I really like them. Um, you know, I kind of grew up with this kind of stuff around, so... Really awesome, I think. So you guys can see the webs there. Pretty cool. So issue number 1 of the um, Lethal Protector. Oh okay, yeah, another one from my childhood. This one looks like in a super awesome condition. This is from the early 90s as well. Let's see, 93. And I collected a few of these as well. I think in total there was only um, six issues, like a three-issue limited, and then um, another three-issue ongoing, sort of. Um, but I think this is of the... Issue one of the ongoing, I think. And I grew up with these these guys, too. This was really cool. I don't think I saw any of the TV shows. I don't think. But uh, the the uh, comic books. I love the comic books. And they did eventually... Or not eventually. Or I found out years later... Um, in a TMNT... Tales of TMNT. Like the, the, the Mirage series. The uh, Cowboys did cross over with, or were in sort of the same universe, um, or alternate universe, but they were visited by uh, the Teenage Mutant Turtles were, and were friends of. Um, so that's in the regular Turtles universe. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it's an Archie series, um, you know, Wild West Cowboys of Mumasa. So this, is, this was a really great Archie series that I grew up on. Love it. So I'm going to, um, just like I got all the adventures... The uh, Team and T Adventures in the Archie series. I'll get all these ones, and also another one would be the Zen uh, Intergalactic Ninja Zen series. Okay, here's these two. I didn't know these were little graphic novels. That's probably why my shipping cost me a little bit more. But by Wolfman and Perez. These little history of the DC Universe, and I picked both of these issues up for really cheap. Actually, most of these issues I picked up were really cheap because there was a uh, sale on mycomicshop.com, so I think these were both like 90 cents each, and they got, you know, a fairly good thickness to them. But I bought them because of um, 
Howler Mouse. He showed me a picture in, in these books uh, that had a picture of Judo Master, so I don't know which one it is. Um, oh, I can't flip through it with one hand. But anyways, there's supposed to be a little bit of history of Judo Master in here, um, so I think that's really awesome. So I just had to get it because I love getting all the appearances and cameos by Judo Master, so I ended up picking up both of them. Um, just because it'd be also really great to read too. Um, I like kind of the history books of DC because I don't know terribly much about them and so without buying you know a million comic books I can kind of uh, familiarize myself with the uh, DC universe and its history a little more in these books. Um, of course that's all changed quite a bit now. But yeah thanks to Howler Mouse I got, I got those two. Uh, one, this one I think is really cool. Oh, that's an awesome cover. But here we go. There's um, Gargoyles issue number three. Uh, this is published by Marvel Comics. There was later a slave labor slave labor graphics um, series that ran only like eight issues. Uh, but this is the Marvel one, and I think it was like 15, 16 issues. Yeah, so I thought this was really cool because um, you know Marvel Comics publishing a Disney property way before Disney actually ended up owning Marvel. Um, and it was a really great series, kind of went um, according to the TV show and uh, I think a little bit beyond, I think. But anyways, what was neat also about this um, one <clears throat> is that anybody who was enjoying the art um, from Amanda Connor in Silk Spectre right now this is something she did quite a few years ago, um, as it says right here, uh, Connor and Palmiotti. I guess that's probably Jimmy Palmiotti, um, so that's pretty cool. Two awesome names in comics. Um, she's got some great gargoyle art, I think that's amazing. So that is Amanda Connor right there. That's very awesome stuff. And uh, so I got a few other issues of these, I got one one, two, and some sporadic issues, and I'm, I'm going to end up collecting all of these as well. Okay, some new ones. Um, haven't read them, don't know much about, but, you know, the the uh, Sabretooth clones here. Um, Wolverine issue number 312. And some more Venom back issues. I have to read Venom issue number 22. Great cover there. Um, and another back issue, part 4 of the Savage 6. Um, Eddie Brock in the Toxin costume. That's what I'm looking forward to read. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And let's see, last back issue that I needed, uh, Flash issue number 11. A uh, pretty good series, one of the best uh, DC ongoing, I think. And I got this goofy free Batman Earth one that I don't care about. <laughs> okay, so that's that, you guys. Leave your comments and questions below, and make sure you go and enter that comic book lottery. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.